Fedor Emelianenko, he's not deficient in any area. If you haven't seen Fedor fight, you have no idea what you're missing. I don't think anyone is as well-rounded of a fighter as Fedor Emelianenko. He's a striker, he's a takedown expert, he's a submission expert. He's continually been the best heavyweight in the world since 2003 and he's dominated his division and really beaten everybody that they put in front of him. He can make or break your career, obviously, and he's broke a lot of careers. If Fedor never fought again, he'd be the number one heavyweight to ever fight in the sport. He is either a 9 or a 10 in every single category, and I don't think that there's another fighter in the world that you can say that about. But just from a technical standpoint and from his accomplishments and his abilities, in my opinion, he's the greatest fighter of all time. In my mind, there's no one that can beat Fedor right now, period. <laughs>
he can he can punch, he can kick. He's developed his kicks in the last few years. His submissions, his throws, his takedowns, his defense, phenomenal. He is either a nine or a 10 in every single category. And I don't think that there's another fighter in the world that you can say that about. And when you see him in the ring, you see just how good he is. He's just a tactician. He's going to work. He loves to fight, but that's his job. And when he gets in there, Fedor does his job very well. That's it, he got it, he got it, he's got it. Fedor does it. He has all the technical abilities. He has all the qualities that make a great fighter. But I think it's his personality and his demeanor. He's so stoic, so calm, so focused when he goes to the ring. What makes Fedor as good as he is is the way he thinks through fights. He's probably the most educated person in MMA right now. He's well-rounded and he's got a great game plan. I think that makes him the best fighter. I think his mental strength is so much different than for many other athletes. I think his ability to focus and uh, prepare himself mentally for a bout is, is exceptional. Uh, the mystique from Fedor comes from that he is so calm, but yet he fights so very well. It's like nobody can distract him. In his mind, he's totally relaxed. You know, and the opponents know that. I mean, they see him come into the ring so incredibly focused. I mean, it's, it's almost like a machine. The whole shtick of Fedor is the music. He walks to the ring. He's so calm. He's so focused. I think he actually wins fights before the opening bell. I think a lot of the fighters going in are so taken back or intimidated by that Russian mystique that they lose the fight before they even get in the ring. It's okay. You did a fantastic job. You stay right there. You just got caught. You just got caught. Yeah. I think the number one reason to watch Fedor is that he's the best. He's a great competitor, and he's someone that if you're going to determine who the best heavyweight in the world is, you have to factor him into the equation, and, and I think that road runs through him. If he keeps on winning, he's going to be undisputed star. I mean, not only in his fight career, not only his record, but the type of guy that he is, the persona that he brings off. You know, this mysterious fighter that, you know, everybody looks at, everybody dreams of being, but also everyone is, is wary of, and that, that, that will take him into the into stardom for years to come. Fedor Emelianenko could be the Mike Tyson of the sport. He could be the ultimate heavyweight that everybody tunes in, everybody talks about. He could be the icon of the heavyweight division of the sport easily. He is the star that can take MMA into the mainstream. Fedor would be the Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson of mixed martial arts, there's no doubt in my mind. Whether he wants to or not, he's going to be a star. Unquestionably, Fedor is the one fighter who carries a title defense everywhere he goes, regardless of the organization involved. Fedor, after all, has his own kingdom that leaves stereoscal Russia to wherever is needed against whomever hopes to present a challenge. But in a rare moment, he will let down his guard for an extraordinary glimpse into a surprisingly normal life away from the sport. The person is quiet, he's respectful, he's very reflective, you know, he's a thinker and you can tell when you talk to him when you're around him, he's very courteous, very kind, but he's a thinker and I think that translates to fighting a lot, but that's how he is outside of the ring as well. He's not as well known as most fighters because he keeps himself quiet. He's such a gentleman, he's such a, a prince of a man. I think people don't realize that because he doesn't do a lot of interviews, he doesn't want to be a star, he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't put himself out to the public. The fact that he's a very introvert person doesn't make it easy for his fans to really know him and get to know him and, and the type of personality that he is. He's an incredibly nice person. He's incredibly polite, very warm. And I think that people who only know him from his fights think that he's stoic and he's cold and he's unfeeling. And that's absolutely not it at all. There are two different sides to Fedor Emelianenko. The one side that people see when he comes into the ring, very stoic, got a job to do, takes care of business, but then the other side where he really is a small town local guy, 
very simple, and very fun-loving. I don't think most MMA fans have a clear understanding of how Fedor is because he's so cold in the ring, he's so methodical, he's so unemotional, he doesn't project in the, in the ring, everything is, is how he fights, so his personality is kind of hidden, it doesn't come out a lot, you know, when he's...